and he damn near smoked you. You see it on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times Die being dirty. it's your boy jim's with the stop being dirty stop eating dirty trust the process protect your peace link is in the bio for all the merchandise hit that dirty notification bell and that subscribe button if you are watching if you are watching salute thank you for the support now i have some off battle rap related videos blogs in the works some 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 a little bit of this some a little bit of that i don't want to give, give give too much detail on it but i did want to take this time to ask you as the fans as the supporters uh, of this channel what off battle rap related subjects would you want me to do videos on this could be sub remember i did the, the the social media thing i did relationship ones you know what i'm saying i have a i have one that i want to do how to spot a catfish uh, you know i want to work on that you know what i'm saying but what fitness blogs do you want to see from me what what dieting blogs do you want to see from me what workouts do you want to see you know i do this channel for y'all so why not get the suggestions from y'all you know what i'm saying so right in the Oh, you down to battle T-Rex? Okay, okay. Now, first and foremost, let me give a shout out. You know, I don't, if you check my last blog, I shouted, my last Murder Mook blog, I shouted out where this interview is from. Right now, if you just put Murder Mook in, it'll come up. He has an interview with, um, on like this podcast and that's where i got the information about the jr writer coming to battle rap and also where i got this information towards the the end of this three hour video that i've been watching the murder move for about a week now i kid you not i'm literally still have not finished it i have like eight minutes left and um towards the end of the video they asked i just want to salute that channel right now i don't remember the name but i did shout y'all out in specifics of of your channel of your podcast in another video so i you know i just want to let that be known that this information i got is from that platform excuse me salute to that platform i just right now at the top of my head can't remember it but i did mention it in my other move video so if you're watching right now go check that out to know exactly where you can see this but i'm pretty sure if you just put murder mook in you know stop paying homage and get to it so homie goes yo mook this might be one of the last questions i want to ask you but Is there any amount of money? And I know this might be hard for you to answer and hypothetically, and I'm just saying, if someone put it together, is there any amount of money that can get you to battle T-Rex? Murder Mook says, yes. For a certain amount of money, I will battle T-Rex. Happens friendship before me, KJ and Sean battle. We fist fight in the middle of the street, bro. You guys don't need enemies with friends like you. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my homie, that's my brother. We first cousins, we grew up together. That's my man, honey grand. But if you give me a hundred grand, I'll slander him and belittle him for three rounds in front of the entire world to see my come on, man. I love it, bro. Imagine a battle between Murder Mook and T-Rex. First of all, I'll be more hyped to, 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 to talk about this after I see what T-Rex can bring to the table against Easy to Block Captain, which I'm so excited for, which I truly believe T-Rex is about to be incredible. I feel like this first round from Rex might be the best round we ever get from Rex. I really feel like Easy should put his best rounds on the back end of his battle because I just... Bro, I just have that feeling, bro. I really do. But at the end of the day, Rex, you got to come with three of them. You have to come with three of them. And uh, it'll make you more have to see Rex. And talking about a murder mook battle. Bro, do you understand these dudes grew up together since little kids? Like, they say their first cut. Everybody's cousins now. You know, that's my, that's my cousin. Like, if you want to in a club, trying to bag some shorties, you and your man's looking like, let's say we're cousins for some reason. People think that's a better approach. I never seen the benefit of it. Actually, sometimes my friends just be acting out. I want to more so act like I don't even fucking know them around certain females, let alone. But anyway, so do you know the amount of information they have on each other? And I say that because, bro, I'm not saying like, oh, that's what battle rap should be, this and that. But if you're going to do a battle like a hitman and verb, a, a T-Rex and Mook 
shit like that where like you friends family and shit like that you think i just want to see you battle with generic bars or like general bars i mean no i want to see you slander each other on how t-rex like you know dropped the turkey on the way to the thanksgiving dinner and murder mook you know uh wasn't the first picture murder mook took with a foot and like all kind of little shit like that or like yo back in the hood you know this and that happened remember when this dude pressed you remember when i helped you with this remember like that inside information or like yo when that shit happened with math you came to me oh yo when that shit happened with your the, the, yo bro like that type of shit like Bro, it would be three rounds of behind It's basically three rounds of behind the scenes footage Of all the situations that we've seen Transpire in Battle Rap with Murder Mook and T-Rex Their opinions on each other Things they might have not wanted to say each other Things that they might have said to each other About the situations they've been through That we didn't hear about Them saying they can shit in for the camera But if you're gonna battle each other It's for the camera I wanna see it That's not cardio man That's how I be getting them You know That's not cardio man That's how I be getting all of them Long winded sentences out I'm fucking lightheaded I'm on the way to do a, uh, a CrossFit workout today. It's not, it's not really my cup of tea, but get comfortable with being uncomfortable, and that's how you see the gains. That's how you prosper in life. That's how you. That's how you really. That's how you really step your shit up. You know what I'm saying? If I, if you ever feel like you're at a plateau with your weight loss, with your muscle gain, whatever it, whatever it might be, then you need to switch it up. You need to do what you're not doing. You need to focus on being uncomfortable. Do shit you don't like doing. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Like, you know, I love the bench press. I don't really love the squat rack as much, you know? Yeah, I have a couple lower back problems and I could be like, yo, that's the reason. Nah, prior to the back injury, I wasn't too big on the ass to grass squat and shit. I feel like there's better ways to, to work legs without doing that. But then again, that's a powerhouse movement that's been around since the dawn of time of fitness. And honestly, the um, you know, your testosterone is in your lower body. So if you're not, if you're not you know, getting that lower body working, you know, that testosterone is not running through the body. You're not main, you're not gonna, you're not gonna gain, you know, you're not gonna get them gains that you could be getting. Your metabolism is not gonna be as high as it could be. Metabolism equals weight loss and you know what I'm saying? So you gotta work everything. And today that's what I'm doing. I I believe it's a total of like 120 air squats, 120 push-ups, uh 60 pull-ups, two mile run. 100 sit-ups and that's just the first and, and that's just the first uh round of it but um you know and then there's a whole second part with weightlifting and shit it's, it's gonna be grueling and i'm gonna love it man be comfortable go back to moo come on so murder mook and t-rex i just feel like that'll be tough bro like I, are you kidding me? Even if T-Rex didn't do well versus Easy to Block Captain, I would want to see that. Just the fact that Murder Move, he put it out there like, yes, he will battle Rex. It's just like, there is no limits to what people would do for money, bruh. Like, it's just crazy. Like, Mook was a little lit, but when I'm looking at it, I mean, like, damn, really? You'll battle Rex? Like, I get it. They did tracks at each other and things like that, but you're talking about a battle, bruh. A battle? That's a whole different cup of tea, man. But would y'all want to see that? Who would win? Bruh, you would think murder, yo, this, when it comes down to personals and shit like that, Mook can have a better pen than Rex, but that shit won't matter if he has like an a, a personal angle on him. Well, you know, these dudes been through a lot. You know, I've been through a lot. Uh, many people been through a lot. I mean, you go through a lot in general in life, but I'm talking battle rap, televised, things that the fans see. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could, yo, you could be known in your hood for knocking a hundred dudes out and nobody tests your gangster ever. And one time you get, you get swung on on camera and suddenly you're that guy. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it comes with, with, with the fucked up shit the world comes with sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always make that analogy about with work. Like, you busting your ass all day. The second, like seven hours straight, you having the most incredible, you, you're just putting in so much work at the job and the boss decides to just walk in the very moment you sit down, he think you were sitting down all day. It's just the way the world works. I accept it. But with that being said, a murder Mook T-Rex battle, that shit might be crazy. And the fact that Mook's, Mook already put that out in the air, that is something we can see in the future. You're talking, like a league will see that on RBE, a smack, they was with the, these leagues with the bag will be like, yo, do you know how crazy a murder Mook T-Rex battle would be? And be like, yo, but that'll never happen. Will it? Will it not? Because Mook already put out, put out there for a certain amount of money, he'll do the battle. 
Would y'all want to see the battle? Who would win that battle? Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments. Again, write in the comments some off battle rap subjects you want me to talk about so I can make it happen for y'all, whether it's meal plans, whether it's the full day, whether it's a lot of like workouts, you know, targeting certain areas, questions, ask me a question, I can do a blog on the question, things like that. I really want to start mixing in some everyday life uh, uh, subjects, you know, into the channel and I need you, you guys help for it so that I can know I'm putting out content that you guys would like to see.